Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for July 29th, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 18, Like Father, Like Son, part three. Previously, we heard about a proverb that the people of God were using against God. That proverb was, the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. This proverb was accusing God of punishing the wrong people, the children, instead of the fathers or the previous generations. God's response was to remind them that they had sinned and that God's judgment was justified because they were the ones who broke God's covenant. But God also noted that he does not delight in the death of the wicked, but wants all people to be saved. So is our God just? The answer is yes. But let's continue with Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 25. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is not just. Hear now, O house of Israel, is my way not just? Is it not your ways that are not just? When a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice, He shall die for it. For the injustice that he has done, he shall die. Yes, if people rebel against God's grace and mercy, they will die. But if the people return to the Lord, let's continue with verse 27. Again, when a wicked person turns away from the wickedness he has committed and does what is just and right, He shall save his life because he considered and turned away from all the transgressions that he has committed. He shall surely live. He shall not die. So consider it this way. If a person goes to heaven, the glory goes to God because he's the one that has redeemed us from our sins. He is the one that's taken away our sins. But If a person goes to hell, it's the person's fault for rejecting God's grace and mercy. Verse 29, yet the house of Israel says, the way of the Lord is not just. O house of Israel, are my ways not just? Is it not your ways that are not just? Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, declares the Lord God, repent and turn from all your transgressions, lest iniquity be your ruin. Notice that even in the people's rebellion, God is still calling out to them for repentance. Verse 31. Cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone, declares the Lord God. So turn and live. Wow. It almost seems that God is begging them to live. That is to choose life. But it seems that the people of Israel would rather choose death instead of admitting that they had sinned and that they need a savior to deliver them since you cannot save yourself. So why choose death when God's grace and mercy is freely given? We need to remember our sinful nature is strong. That sinful nature does not want to let go of our own pride and doesn't want to admit any sin or need of a savior. So yes, the rebellion of the fathers has been passed down to their children, and now their children are rebelling against God. But notice that God is still calling them to repentance because we do have a loving, forgiving, and patient God. But the last day will come, So we need to continue to keep our eyes focused upon Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to 
Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.